Now, I know we're living in the era of Bluetooth-connected devices, but for better quality sound, they still recommend using headphones that connect via audio jacks. Remember seeing black ridges on those jacks? They aren't there just to make them fit when you plug them into your phone or laptop. Made out of a special insulating material, these bands are meant to guard the wires when sound is being transmitted. Based on the number of bands, you can figure out which end goes where. Some empty space under noodles in a cup doesn't mean the company producing them wants to cheat you out of a full portion. No, no. It's a manner of keeping the noodles intact during their transportation. It also helps with the circulation of hot water that is poured over the products before you can enjoy them. The V-shaped neckline was initially designed to serve a bunch of objectives. First, as a way of prolonging the life of the garment that would maintain its shape over the years. It's also there to fit your head through the shirt in case it needs some stretching. This way, it ensures a snugger grip around the neck. Lastly, it helps absorb sweat in case you're wearing the shirt while exercising. Now, it's not necessarily a custom anymore, but you may have stumbled upon a dinner jacket with an additional mysterious pocket on the right side. Turns out, this pocket was used by men to easily reach their train tickets, since most of them had to travel to work every day. It helped them keep their jacket buttoned up, but also benefited from the use of a pocket. Now it's only added as a decoration, and it doesn't serve an actual purpose anymore. Speaking of things we don't use these days, or at least for their initial purpose, did you know Play-Doh was originally a cleaning product? In the 1920s, the market was in need of a product that could help them wipe the wallpapered areas around coal-burning furnaces. The recipe for what we now know as Play-Doh was thus invented. It was manufactured in white only and was supposed to clean wallpaper by being rolled back and forth over the dirt. It was only later, in the 1940s, that new products for cleaning wallpaper were brought up, and Play-Doh was redirected toward another area of the market. Now, while I enjoy a nice piece of toast for breakfast, isn't it pesky to have to clean out the toaster? Well, not anymore, since I recently found out that toasters have a slide or a panel at the bottom that helps get rid of all those annoying breadcrumbs easily. Now, there used to be a time when you could only have access to video games by inserting cartridges in your console of choice. These tiny objects gave many doctors a lot of headaches. People soon started popping up in hospitals after swallowing small game cartridges, especially the younger generation. Nintendo, the company that manufactures the majority of these devices, had to come up with a creative solution to prevent these accidents. So these days, Nintendo Switch cartridges are purposely coated with specific chemicals that can leave a really bad, bitter taste in the mouth. Not that I'd, you know, recommend you ever try and taste for yourself. Hmm. Many shirts have two buttons on the cuffs, but only one buttonhole. So what is the second button for? Turns out you can use it whenever you're wearing a watch, so the cuff is looser. Most clothing items you buy come with a small bag of fabric or a button, or both. Buttons obviously can be used as a replacement if you lose the original ones. Pieces of fabric can be used to patch up a hole, but most importantly, it's a tester. You can use it to test different washing products on it and see what happens to the fabric. Some umbrellas have a tip at the top, and it turns out it's not just a pretty design. When going inside on a rainy day, you should just close your umbrella and tap the tip against the floor to drain the water faster and more effectively. Many backpacks have this diamond with two parallel cutout slits on its front, and it's there for your comfort. You can attach something to it, like a water bottle or shoes. It comes especially handy if you travel somewhere or go hiking, so you don't have to hold your stuff. Okay, the next thing is gear loops. And probably from the name of it, you already have an idea what they're there for. You can strap in some useful gear you need to have with you, like trekking poles or shovels. Some gear will need to be secured to do it. Drop the handle through the loop and rotate it upward. Then, secure it with the elastic hook at the top, and you're golden. On the back of many makeup and hygiene products, you can find this symbol with a marking, like 6M, 12M, 
and 24M. This is the number of months this product can serve after you open it and before you should throw it out. The two sides of a cotton pad are different because each of them has a particular purpose. A cotton pad has several layers to ensure that it's soft, strong, and can absorb liquids. The edge is stitched to hold it all together. The smooth side of a pad is for applying products like tonics and lotions. And the embossed side is best for cleansing and makeup removal. Also, any pack of cotton pads has those strings on the sides. They're there so you can hang the package somewhere. Then, you can open the package at the bottom where the perforated line is and take them out. Did you know that there is an efficient way to pull a thread from yarn? When you pull from the outside, the yarn rolls away, so you need to hold it. However, if you pull it from the center, it will stay together. We're all familiar with staplers, but I bet you don't know all its secrets. Most staplers have a compartment to store spare staples, which can be located either on top or at the bottom. Also, surprise, this metal plate you press staples against can be turned around. This way, the device will be able to staple your documents by turning the metal ends outwards. No need to wonder whether you need to get a smaller or bigger container. Turns out, plastic food containers have volume measurements on their bottoms, indicating how much food they can fit. Ceiling fans come with a small switch on the inside of the blade. You might not have noticed it because it's not in plain sight, so check yours out. This switch allows you to change the direction of rotation. Now, why would you want to do that? The blades of a fan push the air in different directions, depending on the way they rotate. In the summer, you need the air to be pushed down to create the effect of a breeze. In the winter, the direction should be changed so that the air is pushed towards the ceiling. It then heats up before going down the walls. Have you noticed that the gas tank sign on cars' dashboards has a little arrow next to it? Well, this arrow has a purpose. It points at the side of the car where the gas tank is located. It's very useful for forgetful people who constantly wonder where their gas tank is and also for those who drive rentals once in a while. The answer is right in front of your eyes. If you can't find the arrow on your panel, then the fuel hose on the icon indicates the side instead. All car tires have 12-digit numbers printed on them, and they're actually important codes for car owners if they want to get the right tire. The first letter identifies the type of tire. P stands for a tire for light passenger cars, and LT is for heavy vehicles. Then, the following numbers stand for the width of the tire, its radial, and its diameter. If you ever find yourself stuck in the trunk of your car, stay calm. All cars are supposed to be equipped with an emergency latch to help open the trunk from the inside in the unlikely case it happens. These latches are so well thought out that they can be opened by people of all ages. More so, handles are designed to glow in the dark, too. You can even pull them with the mouth if there's not enough wiggle room to use your hands. Never mind how you ended up in the trunk in the first place. Moving on. If you're ever working with needle and thread, Remember, you don't need to stick the needle directly into the spool. You may end up losing the needle altogether, not to mention you can easily hurt your fingers. A lot of modern sewing kits these days come with a designated place for safeguarding the needles. It's located at the bottom part of the thread spool. You'll just need to pull it out. It's even made to hold multiple sewing needles at a time. Disposable ballpoint pens come with a little secret of their own. Did you ever notice that in some of them, there's a small hole in the plastic part? It's actually a rudimentary ventilation system. It's supposed to let the ink easily make it to the tip of the pen. Okay, I know it's in the name, but you really don't need to shake the seasoning shaker to get any product out. Don't believe me? Hey, you're not the only one. Go grab your favorite seasoning bottle out of your pantry. If it has one of those removable plastic caps, it's perfect for the experiment. Instead of shaking the bottle, try holding it from the plastic cap while it's upside down. 
Now gently twist the bottle from side to side and, before you know it, you get some gorgeously flowing seasoning without having to wiggle the shaker and make a mess all over the stove. On the same note, mm, most salt and pepper shakers should have ridges on the bottom of the glass portion. In case you get any seasoning stuck in there, place the bottom of the salt shaker against the bottom of the pepper shaker and wiggle it around so the ridges click with each other. The seasoning should easily pour out now without you having to open the bottle. In colder weather, you often have so many clothing layers on you that you can hardly feel the purse or back straps on your shoulder anymore. Not to mention how fast they can slide off. Some jackets come with a built-in solution for that, in the form of a small tab on the shoulder with either a hook or a button. It's meant to be opened and closed comfortably, so you can keep your purse in place at any time. You're most likely using it merely to peel the skin of potatoes, carrots, or cucumbers. But you can use your vegetable peeler for chopping fine strips of onion as well. Just cut the onion into quarters vertically and then start slicing. This might also help out with those embarrassing onion tears. Most people miss this one, but should you ever have a closer look at your toothpaste tube, you will surely see some sort of coloring there, either a dot or a block. Colors can vary. They can be black, green, red, or even blue. These color spots are actually meant to help the assembly machines back at the toothpaste factory. They recognize when and where these machines need to cut the toothpaste tubes and proceed to fold them for packaging. For most types of footwear, if there's anything that seems a bit out of place, always know that it's there for a reason. Most manufacturers don't put extra items on shoes just for fun. It would definitely be a waste of time and resources. For footwear, like boots, for example, there's often a small loop at the top back of the shoe. It's there to help you when you need to put the shoe on, since you can quickly pull on it. Plus, you can also hang the shoe somewhere, most likely to dry, since most boots are meant to be worn in the colder weather. Now, I've been guilty at least once of overdressing with a bunch of layers just so I won't need to jam everything in my check-in bag. But does it become a problem when you actually have to get seated? What do you do with your coat or your jacket? Well, have a closer look next time you board a plane on the seat in front of you. The hook that keeps the tray table upright can double as a jacket hook. As long as you don't need to have any meals while in the air, you're good to go. Now, most mascaras expire within 3-6 to six months, I'm told, depending on the manufacturer. But you can help speed up that process if you're not careful enough. Continuously pumping the mascara wand trying to mix in the product actually pushes more air into the tube. This can make it dry much faster, and you evidently won't get the desired results with it anymore. There's an easy way to check if your mascara is still good enough to use. If you don't hear a popping noise when you take the brush out, you may very well need to go get yourself a new mascara tube. The Queen's Guard all appear to have the same uniform, with a shared role of standing stoically for a long time. But if you look closely at their hats, there are five different types. The Grenadier has a white plume, the Coldstream has a red one, the Irish a blue plume, the Welsh green and white and the Scots Guard has none. Their different divisions perform similar ceremonial duties at Buckingham Palace. But they have other actual roles as well, suited to their specialization. When peeling your boiled eggs, you can see a hidden layer under the shell. These two membranes, an inner and outer one, are made from the same stuff as your hair, keratin. It protects the inside from bacteria and stops liquids from escaping. You use X in your text, which represents a kiss. It's been used this way for a very long time. Its original purpose dates back to the Middle Ages, where it was a representation of a person's faith, honesty, and sincerity. Those that would sign off with an X would kiss it after signing as a display of a sworn oath. The X's meaning later changed to represent the action of kissing. And the first document showing this was a letter dating back to 1763, written by a naturalist, Gilbert White, who sent it to his wife. William Shakespeare is a name familiar to everyone. However, we don't know whether this was the actual way his name was spelled, and neither did he. He signed 80 different variations of his name spelling on all his works. 
historians haven't a clue which the correct spelling is. The version that we know of was only used on two of his plays. Different forms of alarm clocks were invented as far back as 348 BCE, with many versions throughout the world, all with complicated mechanics. Unaffordable to mostly everyone, they didn't catch on. Alternate methods to wake up in the morning started to be used in the 1800s. One process involving knocker-uppers was common in some countries. A person visited your house every morning to knock on your door four times. Inventor Antoine Redier felt that he should be woken only when he felt it necessary. So, in 1847, he invented the first adjustable alarm clock. Tennis balls in Wimbledon must be kept at a perfect temperature to ensure they bounce at a consistent level. They're stored at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so they're cold enough that the molecules inside the ball shrink, ensuring they bounce lower. Then, they're continuously swapped throughout a match as they expand by being hit too much, becoming too bouncy. Wimbledon goes through 50,000 tennis balls each year. You enjoy the smell of a freshly mowed lawn, as you associate it with the weekends and summer. But that smell is a sign of stress made by the grass. Grass evolved to emit various elements when being eaten by bugs. This signal attracts predator insects to remove them. But unfortunately for the grass, there's nothing large enough to deter a lawnmower. There is no oxygen inside your packet of chips. If there was, it would influence the combination of molecules forming inside, spoiling the chips faster. The packets are instead filled with nitrogen, which pushes oxygen out. And this extends the shelf life and quality of your chips. You're traveling by plane overnight and just can't get to sleep. And the first night in a hotel wasn't great, regardless of how comfy the bed was. This is because of a human evolutionary trait called the first night effect. When you sleep in a different place than your home, the left side of the brain responds to more sounds while you're asleep. It continues to analyze your surroundings without you realizing, acting as though it's on a night watch and keeping you alert for any potential dangers. Most animals have this trait, although it's a lot more subtle in humans. But it's still effective enough to make sure you get your peanuts. Before playing basketball with hoops, you would have instead been playing with peach baskets. When the game was invented in 1891, a peach basket was used, with the bottom of it cut off. But it only took 15 years for players to grow tired of constantly collecting the jammed balls and to remove the basket altogether. When you click your fingers, the snapping sound isn't from the physical click of finger and thumb. The noise actually comes from the finger hitting the palm. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.